Today I'm going to show you how to use Bamboo Handy. This is Bamboo Labs phone app where you can 3D print things directly from your phone to your printer. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial guide on teaching you how to use Bamboo Handy. So let's get started. So the first step is to go on over to your 3D printer and make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi. Maybe you did this on the initial setup. A lot of Bamboo 3D printers make you connect to Wi-Fi or they ask you to. Just make sure your 3D printer is connected to Wi-Fi. But what you can do is actually go up to your printer and click on the settings button here and you can see it'll show you if you're connected to a Wi-Fi network or not. You can see I'm connected here. If you're not connected, just make sure that you go through the walkthrough of connecting to your Wi-Fi network there. And our next step is to go onto your cell phone and go to your app store or the play store and search for this bamboo handy this is the name of the bamboo labs application that they created that we can use to connect to our 3d printers and go ahead and connect to it and open the application this is what it should look like what's really cool is we can search for 3d print files on here and directly send them to our printer from our phone so it's first going to ask you to log into your username and that's going to be the same user login that you're going to be using on all your bamboo accounts because chances are you're also going to download bamboo studio eventually on your computer if you haven't yet so just create an account if you haven't yet or just log into your account you already have and what's cool is you can save a lot of files here say if you had like saved files or you just wanted to like search through things that you wanted to remember and just save it all of this will save to your user login account which is really cool so first click on the device tab on the bottom there in the middle and then what we want to do is click on the plus sign to add a new printer this is where you can scan the QR code that shows up or click on nearby devices and your 3d printer should show up as long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi so go ahead and just choose which printer is yours and then click the accept button and confirm to bind. It will take a second to confirm and connect to the network and connect to your 3D printer. It will ask to confirm that you've set up everything properly. So click confirm and now your printer is now connected to your phone app. So now that our printer is connected, what we can do here, we're on the devices tab, right? This just shows our printer here. So if we look to the left here where it says models, what we can do here is start searching all the models. And what's cool is what I like to do is if you scroll down a little bit and click on trending or featured, these are featured 3D prints. Uh, I like to look at the, th the 30 day trending. As you can see, this iPhone standby mode is one of the most popular prints right now. What's cool is you can just, uh, you can search things on here and you can print them. Here's the search function at the very top. Uh, what we like to look up is like um, fidget stuff. My daughter loves that stuff. So let's search this. And say if we wanted to, we found something that we wanted to print, all you have to do is click on it. Say if we wanted to uh, print this fidget flower, at the very bottom here, it says prepare to print, right? You can look at the comments, you can look at all this data. Um, so click on prepare to print and choose your printer. This is the A1 Mini, so choose that. And it will kind of like construct the file designed for your 3D printer. Then you can see there's different formats. Like this is a standard optimized 80% infill. Sometimes there's different choices. Some, uh, as you can see, it tells you how long it takes to print. This one's 1.4 hours and this one is one hour. And then all we have to do is click next to print it and then choose prepare to print. Click got it. And then choose your AMS by clicking on it. Click OK and then click on start print and it will send it to your printer to print. And that's essentially how you print things from your phone to the A1 mini 3D printer. If uh, the next step to all this is probably learning how to use Bamboo Studio on your computer uh, because you can only print for so long on your phone because you're gonna wanna customize. Like for example, you can't change the size of the files uh, through your phone, which is like really sucky because increasing the size of your like the file you want to print is pretty important, right? So if you're looking to learn on how to set up Bamboo Studio on your computer, consider checking out this video right here. Um, it's a full guide on how to set it up on your computer, etc. and connect your printer to Bamboo Studio and like kind of do things within the slicer. That's what they call the software, a slicer. And also guys, please consider subscribing.